just wondering what Butterscotch's actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. Well, it's like you said, if Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? N no Ask her to tell you who, who her creator is. Since you won't tell me, you're my only hope, dude. Uh oh, I already asked. When I was training her for work. No look there. Sorry. Ugh, I'll drag it out of her some way or another. To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of the basement during store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? Yeah, I was planning on supervising Gumdrop, working with you, leaving. Um, let's pick supervising Gumdrop. Looking after our new assistant. Hey, Gumdrop. Do you need something, Syrup? Let's do something together. I want to work with you today. In that case, I am interested in learning about the process of candy making. Could you show me how it's done? So you can steal my recipes? Not at all. I only thought it would make a nice bonding experience. But if you do not, if you do not wish to... Nah, I guess I don't mind. Just know I've got my eye on you. I'm definitely going to find out what your deal is. Bonding with Syrup! Huzzah! Right, well, you two have fun! Then, after you pour in the syrup, you let it boil for a while. The temperature's different depending on what kind of candy you're making. Syrup is the secret ingredient? How fun! There's no secret ingredients, it's just regular hard candy. It is still exciting! What comes next? Flavor. Then you pour it all out, add some citric acid and colour, and make it into whatever shape you want, before it cools and hardens. Rolling it around is kind of the fun part. Here, when this batch is ready, I'll give you some gloves so you can join in. Syrup! For these candies, I would like to use the colour we bought together. Oh yeah? Yellow it is then. Does singing to the candy make it taste better? I will join you. La la la. No, singing has nothing to do with it. That's just kind of a habit I have since I us since usually no one else is down here with me. I think your candy is appreciated anyway. That's enough rolling. Let's wait for them to cool off. It should be ready now. Here, try. Actually, wait. <laughs> Wouldn't it eating this make you a cannibal? I was not made with the ability to taste things, so I will pass. Huh. What other senses are you missing? Taste is related to smell, which I am also incapable of. You sound pretty cheery for someone missing out on some major sensory experiences, Gumdrop. I also do not feel pain, so being a candy person does have its advantages. Hmm. I guess it's just a matter of perspective, then. So, why do you want to make candy with me if you can't enjoy any of it? Was it just a spy on me after all? I did enjoy it, and now I have a better understanding of where I came from. I didn't make you, though. Well, still. But maybe your parts were actually made by me. What witch does buy it? That witch does buy enough candy from me. So it's definitely possible. If you would like to know for sure, you could always try a bite. Trying to trick me into eating you again. That's not gonna happen. It doesn't matter what you're made of. What I really want to know is who put you together. I cannot tell you that. I am sorry. Figures. We're done here. Give that tray of candies to Pastille. I'm going out for a while. Syrup. Oops. She suddenly came out. Toffee, what do we do? Blood of scotch. Cat. What are you doing creepily lurking outside my store? It really hurts my feelings when you don't remember my name. Nyaw. Don't dodge the question and don't try to run away. <laughs> Who's running away? This is a public road. We're well within our rights to loiter here. We came to see your goal. Nyaw. <laughs> Toffee told me she's doing quite well in your hands. You know, the golem that I magnificently crea crafted. Yep. Your little spy is a pretty diligent worker. Makes it worth keeping her around. I was just here to... check in on her. That's right. 
see for myself how diligent she's being at, um, spying up close. Unless you're gonna buy something, I don't want you in my store. I bought some dosh. I can buy some candy. If it means I can check out your, my, golem. Whatever, as long as you two behave yourselves. Oh, it's the kitty cat from before. Who is your friend? This is my master, the great and powerful witch, Butterscotch. Be grateful she's gracing you with her presence, nya. Oh, there she is. Such beautiful gummy skin. And oh, if I could just try a bite of that hair. You haven't already? That's odd. Considering you claim that you made her. The, that's because I had to send her over in flawless condition. I showed a lot of restraint, you know. But it paid off. She's perfect. Now, Master is at her limit. You should let her have a taste before she loses it. Nya. Absolutely not. You can have any other candy in here except gumdrop. How cruel. You just want to keep her all to yourself, don't you? I'll put up with it. For now. Just don't forget who that god actually belongs to. Me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enough whining. Just buy something and get out. I don't get any of your gr I don't get any of your gross magic or drool on my stock. My magic isn't gross. <laughs> you take this drool as a compliment. Yeah. Come on, Toffee. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Next time those two come by, we should really just pretend we're closed. Syrup, do you like dislike Miss Butterscotch? She's a witch. You dislike witches? Some more than others. Butterscotch is the worst, though. She thinks my alchemy has nothing on her magic, which is totally wrong, of course. Then why does she buy so much of her candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magical candies never taste as good as mine. She probably thinks if she eats enough, she'll absorb the knowledge. If she really thought her magic was better, do you not think she would support you by buying so many of her candies? You should be nicer to her. Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up the wall. I'm just not capable of being nice to someone like that. What do you care anyway? I would like for Syrup to get along with everyone. Is that what your creator wants to? For me to be friends with Butterscotch so she can get free candy from me? That is not the intention. Sai, don't give her such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You were listening? Master Pastille, I do not think Syrup trusts me. What should I do? Don't worry, Gumdrop. Once she sees you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come round. Right, Sai? We'll see. The next morning. Gumdrop, what are you doing in my lab? Oh, Sarah! I am organizing your bookshelf. Why? What are you even doing up right now? The store doesn't open for a few other hours. I do not require sleep. Anyway, you shouldn't come down here without permission and start moving my things around. I don't like it. Oh, may I come in and... You already did. But whatever, I guess it's fine. Sir, I have noticed a trend with the books in your personal library. Oh yeah? What's that? They are all very boring. Gee, thanks. Only one book is abnormal. It is the only one with reference to magic. Magic? Throw it out. Wait, isn't this... Oh yeah, it's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. I am sensing high levels of nostalgia. Syrup's cold heart has been softened by memories from days long past. Yeah, yeah. See this page here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The ultimate sweet, a legendary confection said to have only been crafted once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating, a hundred stars. Shelf life, eternal. Those who partake in the sweet are blessed with great fortune. Upon consumption, a temporary enlightened state is attained, and you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate sweet require both magical talent and mastery of science, making it exceedingly difficult. 
if not utterly impossible for one person to create on their own. The ultimate sweet? Is it yummy? Only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell Pastille I was going to make it one day so that he could taste it. But, like the book says, the main ingredient is impossible to find without magic. I guess I kind of gave up on it. Master Pastille wanted to eat this? Yeah, a long time ago. He probably forgot about it by now. Sir, we should make it! Uh, like I said, I had to give up on it. You can't make it about magic, so I don't want to. But we can ask, um, I mean, a witch can help us. Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is our chance to work together and get along even more. You're always going on about that. Are you obsessed with being friends or something? Precisely! Alright, candy weirdo. Let's figure out a way to make the ultimate sweet without magic. Good! And while Master Pasio eats it, you can eat me! I've said it a thousand times. I'm not eating you. Disappointment. Come on, then. We'll need to do some research before we go out gathering ingredients. Alright, keep an eye out for any encyclopedias about plants. Candy Alchemist, what a surprise! And you brought your new assistant. To what do we owe the pleasure? It is the well-dressed twins from yesterday. Are you also looking for books? No, my dear. Our family owns this library. Really? Huh. You ought to have known that. Certainly you've lived here long enough by now. We're always dilly-dallying. So if you're looking for something in particular, allow us to direct you to the proper shelves. How convenient. We need information on a certain plant. So if you could help speed up the process, we'd appreciate it. Glad to be of assistance. Candy assist. Candy alchemist. What did I get? Glad to be of assistance, candy alchemist. We look forward to tasting whatever it is you're synthesizing. All of the plants in this book look so interesting. I would like to see some of them in person one day. It's got stuff from all over the world. We'd have to travel pretty far to even see half of these. Traveling with Syrup! We would definitely become great friends if we went on a long journey together. Hopefully for this thing we don't have to go too far. Oh, this page. This is exactly what we need. Frosted Crimella. A rare species of vanilla orchid that miraculously thrives in frozen environments. This magical plant will melt into ordinary water when removed from colder climates, but its fruit can last up to three days depending on storage temperatures. Because it's because it inexplicably grows from chaotic soil, it's believed by some cultures to be born from the tears of an ice goddess. According to this, we should be able to find it on Mount Sorbe, but but it's impossible. We definitely need magic to even have a chance at finding it. So we will ask a witch to help us. I am sure Miss Butterscotch would. Absolutely not. Then, how do you plan on getting the final ingredient? Look, it's not gonna happen. That mountain is home to a ton of monstrous beasts. And it's freezing cold. I'd probably die if I went on my own. I shall accompany you, Syrup. You won't be able to move in those temperatures. You're made of candy, remember? I'll be fine if you keep me warm. Just put me in your mouth and... Stop. We're not going. Who would ever go to such crazy extents just to make some special dessert? Kind of a waste of effort if you ask me. You're right, Syrup. It is silly. Let's quit. Are you... angry? Nope. Master Pasteel will not even know that he missed anything. It really was just a waste of time. Gumdrop. Absorbed in thought, Syrup takes her time returning home. Was it worth it to deny her friend what would surely be the most delicious treat in the world? Just to hang on to her stubborn pride? She had never thought about it before. Asking a witch for help seemed impossible for a variety of reasons. But soon, she might just have to.